Shall now it's true, look like camels with humps, George. Yeah. No, no. Having the hump is what people say about other people who have been very grumpy, like you two. Oh, now it says we're being grumpy and dumpy and humpy. Oh, don't start that again, Zippy. Look, I tell you what, why don't I read you both a nice story? Oh, yes, I'd I like that. Zippy, how about you? Well, I've got a lot of important things to do. I don't know. Oh, come on. Stop having the hump, Zippy. Let's stop being miserable. Well, I'll listen, but I'm going to build my house of cards at the same time. Oh, come on, Zippy. What's this story about? Well, it's just right for you two. It's all about some grumpy camels. <laughs> wow! It was another busy day at Zoe's Zoo. Zoe and Zena have been out in the lorry collecting a new animal. The three camels, Carla, Carol, and Clarissa, watch with interest as the lorry pulled up by their enclosure. Zoe opened the back doors and began to lead out the new arrival. A friendly face appeared and gave a big smile. I wonder what her name is, cooed Clarissa. But what a surprise they got when Zoe led the new camel into the enclosure. Look at that, gasped Carla. <laughs> She's only got one hump cried Carol. Who ever heard of a camel with one hump? screeched Clarissa. This is Dora, explained Zoe. She's an Arabian camel, and Arabian camels only have one hump. I hope you make your new friend feel welcome, said Zena. But although Dora tried her hardest to be friendly, the other camels just didn't want to know her. Hm, how can you call yourself a proper camel with only one hump? asked Carla. Poor Dora. There was nothing she could do to make the other camels like her, and she became more and more moody and miserable. But one day, all that changed. Once again, Zena backed the zoo lorry into the camel's enclosure, and Zoe opened the back doors. Carla, Carol, and Clarissa and Dora watched on with interest. Out came another camel, just like Dora, followed by another, then another, then another, and then a whole load more of Dora's old friends. Each camel had only one hump. The new arrivals stared in amazement when they caught sight of Carla, Carol, and Clarissa. Look at those three, laughed Douglas. They've got two humps. Who ever heard of a camel with two humps? Now listen to me, said Zoe. Some animals are big, some animals are small. Some have spots. Some have no spots at all. Some animals have stripes. Some animals have none. And some animals have two humps. And some only have one. It just doesn't matter what you look like. You've all got to live together, peacefully. There was silence for a moment. And then Carol spoke. She's right, you know. Sorry we were so horrid to you, Dora. That's okay, smiled Dora. What's a hump? between friends. And from that day, all the camels lived happily together in Zoe's Zoo. Oh, I like that story, Jeffy, especially when they stopped being nasty to Dora. Yes, well, perhaps that will teach you not to be nasty to me. <laughs> me? Nasty? Yes. Well, I like that. I'm a good man to well, look at. Come on, you should give me a job this hard. Oh, Jeffrey, why did you do that? <laughs> it is not funny. I'll show you, I'll show you. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, what have you done? Oh, no. well, why do you do that, eh? Hey? So, so. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Oh, there you are, Jeffrey. I've been looking everywhere for you. I want to show you my model. It's finished. Uh, oh, no. Who did that? I'm sorry, Bungle. It must have been me. Well, why did you do that, Jeffrey? It took me ages to make, and Christopher will be here soon. Sorry, I'm sorry, Bungle. I, I didn't see it was there. Oh, dear. And I was supposed to keep an eye on it, but I forgot. It's ruined. Yes, yes. Well, you see, if I'd been guarding it, then none of this would have happened. Oh, no. But you said you wouldn't look after it, Zippy. Me? Now, would I say a thing like that? You did, Zippy. 
Oh, it's no good. You two are hopeless. I should never have let my boat hit you. Please, stop it. Please. And why are you being so nasty to each other today? Yeah, well, George started it. No, I didn't. Yes. Now, one at a time, now, please. Zippy. Now, George knocked down my house of cards. Right. Now, George, why did you do that? He was nasty about my hat. Was it? Was it? All right, all right. What happened after that? <laughs> well, because George was nasty to him, Zippy was very rude to me. Me? Rude? You were, Zippy. Yes, you were very grumpy with me too, Zippy. Well, only a bit. So was I, Geoffrey, because you flattened my boat. And because Zippy had been grumpy with you, because I'd been grumpy with him. Right, so now we know what happened, what are we going to do about it? Mm. We, I think we should all be nice to each other again, like the camels in the story. But what about my boat? <laughs> and my card, and my hat, and my shirt. I tell you what, I'm going to change my shirt now. When I come back, I'm going to sort this all out. <laughs> Now that's what I call a model. Christopher will love it. Oh, thank you for helping me, George. Oh, yes, you right, Bungo. There you are, Zippy. Oh, of course, yes. Yes, well, I bet you're glad I showed you how to do that. Yes. <laughs> what, what, what do you think of my new hat? Very smart, George. Zippy, get what? what? Oh, 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 yes, it's very nice. There you are, you see. And we all try to help each other, even when people aren't being very helpful to us. Things usually work out. Hello, everybody. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Is that the model? Oh, yeah. that's great. Yeah, it's the second one, because Jeffrey oh. flattened the... Oh, oh Bungle. Oh. Why did you do that? Oh, sorry. Oh, that's all right. It'll wipe off. You know, that's the sort of thing that's been happening all day here today. Really? Yes. Making everyone very grumpy. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, have you got a song to cheer us up? A new one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I haven't got a new one. But I tell you what, we could make one up. That'd cheer everybody up, wouldn't it? Good okay. idea, yeah. I'll start us off. Um, I know, Bungle. Uh, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you put that paint on me? With your brush. Curse black! I didn't mean to do it. Honest, that's a fact. Then why did you do that? Why did you do that? Oh, can I have a go? Go on, Zippy. <laughs> why did you do that? Why did you do that? George, when I built my house of cards, you came and knocked it flat. <laughs> I am very sorry, Zippy. Honest, that's a fact. Then why did you do that? Why did you do that? My turn. <laughs> why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you make an awful mess of my paper hat? I didn't mean to do it. Only that's a fact. Then why did you do that? 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 Why did you throw the storybook and squash my model flat? I really wasn't looking model, honest, that's a fact. Then why did you do that? Why did you do that? All together! Why did we do that? Why did we do that? My car! My shirt! My boat! My face! And my people hat! We really didn't mean to, honest, that's a fact. Then why did we do that? Why did we do that? Yeah, 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 that, that. Why did we do that? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta go now, but hope to see you again soon. Take good care of yourselves, won't you? Bye. Yeah, yeah, no, no, bye. 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 Oh, Christopher, one more time, one more time. All right, all together. One, two, one, two, three. Why did we do that? Why did we do that? My car, my shirt, my boat, my face, and my people. Then why did we do that? Why did we do that?